a 40-year-old man in the U.S. has a 0.242% risk of dying during the next year. An insurance company charges $270 per year for a life insurance policy that pays a $100 death benefit. Complete the probability distribution table. Let X be the profit, which could be negative in the case of a loss. List of X values from largest, uh, smallest to largest. Remember to list the probability P of X, not a percent. Um, okay, got it. So this problem is from the customer's point of view. Okay, so if you're the 40-year-old man buying this policy, um, you want to think about what you would be losing and what you would be gaining in money, in dollars, um, and the likelihood of that loss or gain. So first of all, um, the risk of dying is very low here, and the, the weird thing is that if the person were to die, they would actually be gaining $100,000. $100, so what we would say is that we would have a positive gain of $100,000, and associated with that is the probability of dying. So that is a percentage of 0.242 which means um, that is actually as a decimal, you would divide that by 100. So 0 0.00242 would be the probability, not as a percentage, but as a decimal, 0 0.00. So if you just imagine when you divide this number, divide it by 100, it's going to move that decimal place back to the uh, backwards the number of zeros in 100. So 100 is 10 to the power of 2, or it has two zeros. So it would be, since you're dividing, the number is getting smaller, your decimal is going to be moving two places backwards. And that's why we have two zeros after the decimal before you get to the 242. Um, of course, you could just simply do that in a calculator, take the number and divide it by 100. Um, and then the loss is actually what you're going to pay um, for that year to the life insurance policy. So if you don't die, <laughs> then you are actually losing $270 with no gain. So we'll put negative $270 for the year. And um, that's that should be associated with the probability of not dying. And since dying and not dying are complementary, in other words, the probability should add it to 100%, we should just take this number right here and subtract it from one, and that would be the probability of not dying. So we'll do one minus 0.00242, and We'll take that number and put it here for the probability associated with the gain. Um, now I'm going to just read the directions again to make sure I did this the right way because I think I just remembered. It says list the x values from smallest to largest. So I guess, um, yeah, we need to switch these. So instead of the 100,000 being there, it needs to be down here and the negative 270 should be here. And we also want to swap the probabilities. Oops. Make sure they're line, aligned with the appropriate value. OK. And then let's just check to see if that's right. Yeah. Oh. What did I do here? It says one hundred thousand dollars. Is that not one hundred thousand dollars? 
Oh, right. Um, since you would have paid the 270, you should take that away from the um, death benefit. So let's take 100,000. Make sure I got enough zeros there. Five zeros, okay. And then minus the 270 paid at the beginning of the year for the policy. Okay, so you would actually be gaining this much in profit. There we go. Let's try that again. Yes. And then what is the expected value for the person buying the insurance? So now what you're basically trying to do is come up with an average, or in other words, the mean. Um, expected value is just another way of referring to the mean. And we do have a formula for that. And let me write it out for us over here. The mean, which is the same thing as the expected value, E of X, can be found from a discrete probability distribution by adding up, summing the individual X values times each corresponding probability. Okay, so you want to get these products first and then add them together. So if we make a table over here, I'm just going to do my x and p of x table over here, x and p of x, then I have negative 270 and 99730 and then this number which I'd rather just copy and paste make sure I don't make any typos I don't know if you can hear it in the background this pouring pouring rain on my tin roof <laughs> it's very loud Hopefully my mic's good enough at filtering out the noise. All right, so what we're going to do to do execute this formula is we're going to multiply x times p of x. Oh, having trouble typing here. There we go. So multiplying the x value times its corresponding probability, doing that for both rows and just move this out of the way and then we want to add up or sum those products to get the expected value all right so negative $28 is that a bad loss that's a pretty I think that's worth it right just to have you know you're yeah you're losing money but <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a weird question. But there you go. That's how you can kind of average out your amount of profit or loss 